Okay, if 25 milliliters of 0.4 molar solution is diluted to 400 milliliters, what is the new concentration? So, this is a classic dilution question, and to solve a dilution question, you need the following formula. C1, V1 is equal to C2, V2. So, if we think about this formula, the concentration of solution 1 multiplied by its volume. Well, concentration by volume, molarity by volume, or any other grams per liter by liters, any of those will give you out an amount. And the amount of material you put in, if you change its volume, you still have to have the same number of moles of material in there. So this number of moles has to equal to that number of moles. Which means if we know our new volume, then we can work out our new concentration. So let's try that with this. So we said that 25 milliliters of 0.4 molar solution is diluted down to 400 milliliters. What is our new concentration? So 25 milliliters multiplied by 0 0.40 moles per liter is equal to concentration number 2 multiplied by 400 milliliters. So rearrange that, bring that down there, and you get 25 milliliters multiplied by 0 0.4 molar divided by 400 milliliters is equal to concentration number 2. And to check we're going right, we can cancel our units out, and that makes sense. And now if we put this into our calculator, we'll get concentration 2 is equal to 0 0.05 molar. So our new concentration is going to be 0 0.05 molar, or in our case, it's going to be, um, have I done that right? Let's check this, 1, 2, 3, 4, no, it's not going to be 0 0.05, it's going to be 0 0.05. 2.5 molar. So you can put that into your calculator and check, but if I want to check that I'm doing this right, well, uh, 25 over 400 is the same as 1 over 16, and 16 will go into 0 0.40, 0 0.025 times. So 0 0.025 molar is concentration number 2. Of course, you can avoid doing all the mental arithmetic by just putting it into your calculator. But this is how the calculation works. So we know if 25 ml is diluted to 400 milliliters, it's 16 times the volume, it's 1 16th the concentration. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, post them on the form, post them below in the comments, or ask in the lab. That's all for now.